Education is a Netflix TV show that is obviously on Netflix. Um, it premiered a couple weeks ago, and it's only eight episodes. I honestly binge watched the show. It took me two days, but for some reason, I just never got around to reviewing it. I, don't ask me why. Maybe just because the cold weather, maybe it slipped my mind. But it's been on the back burner for sure. But that being said, let's get into this review. So for those of you that don't know, Sex Education is about a young high schooler played by Asa Butterfield. He is a virgin, but at the same time, he finds out he has like this gift where much of the same way of his mother, he is really good with advice, therapeutic advice. And I forgot to mention his mother is a sex therapist. So it's interesting because the son, Asa Butterfield, uh, is a virgin and has no experience in that whole category. But at the same time, because of his upbringing, he has an idea on the correct advice to give to certain people. So him and this young girl, um, they create this business, a sex education, if you will, uh, type thing. And it's fascinating. The premise honestly fascinated me. And that's why I was like, you know what? Let me give this a go. And I, I mentioned early in my review that I put it on the back burner with reviewing. And I don't know why. Because this show, I really liked. I found it to be very well acted. Perfectly bingeable. And the messages are really, really deep. There is also a sense of familiarity where you've seen some of these type of things that occur throughout the show. That being said, for every time that there's something familiar, there's something else that sidesteps a trope, especially the finale. The way the show ended, it was like, huh, I did not see that coming. I really did not. And I liked it. I think that this is a show that if you want to see a teeny show done right, none of this 13 Reasons baloney, you want to see a show that does a great job of portraying what it's like to be a teenager in the 21st century? Sex Education. It's a fascinating show. The messages are really good. Um, the way it's shot is perfect. The music choices are great. As I mentioned, the, the acting, the score, everything about it, it just works. Also, I have to mention that if there is not a second season, which I don't know, because again, I haven't heard too many people talk about uh, the show. I know it's only been a couple weeks, but I mean, shoot, you know, when Bird Box came out, you know, everyone and their mother knew about that. Uh, sex Education, I, I I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't have the same appeal as other Netflix stuff, but I definitely think that even if this doesn't find the audience, which I think it should, but even if it doesn't, I'm fine with just the way the first season ended. Do I want to see a second season? Absolutely. But if for some reason they're not able to make a second season, I was still satisfied with the way season one ended. That being said, all that said, I know I didn't fully explain a lot of things, but I think this is a show that you should go in open-minded. You should go in just kind of just expecting a breezy show that just washes over you with a lot of messages, heart, and great acting. So sex education for me personally, I will be giving it a four and a half out of five star rating or it was like a hot sauce rating. It's the good old Tabasco rating. Again, it gets a very high recommendation. Um, it's not a perfect show, uh, for sure, but I definitely think it is a show that is compulsive in its ability to binge watch. And it also does a great job, as I mentioned many times before, with the messages, the acting, the style, and it, it, it it's relatable. You know, it's that show that teenagers and adults can relate to, and I love it. So, sex education, guys. Um, did you like it? Did you not? If you did see it, if you didn't see it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. And uh, don't forget the subscription, the notification bell if you haven't done so. And uh, get you guys later.